In this video we're going to take a quick look at this 1979 Volkswagen bus. We gave you an introduction to it in a previous video. So now let's take a look at the bus after the conversion has been completed. Here's a view of the front and uh, really the only difference that's noticeable is uh, there was a blank next to the speedometer we added a gauge that gauge will monitor the motor and controller and where the ashtray was we added a gauge and that will monitor the battery pack there's also a switch added next to the emergency flashers here and this is the electronic reverse. Press that and it lights up blue around it and that's for reverse and uh, press it again you'll go forward. The view of the front here from the passenger side. Underneath the rear seat is the battery box and it's one of two battery boxes. The other one is where the original fuel tank was and like I said this one just goes underneath the, the seat and uh, there's still room underneath the seat behind the battery box. Here's the original fuel door now housing the charge port. There's a light here that shows green when it's fully charged. Let's take a look at the engine bay. Alright, this is the engine bay and we'll go in a little bit closer here and take a look around. On the driver's side here we have our 12 volt battery with a hardwired trickle charger. We have some relays in terminal strips. We have a 12 volt gauge at the bottom of that one terminal strip there. And if I can get it out of the shadow, uh, kind of. <laughs> it comes on with the ignition. It's digital and uh, it's very easy to see. Uh, then we have our component board here with the main contactor, the shunt, the throttle, and the controller next to it. Kind of hard to see because it's black on black. It is the coolant reservoir for the controller cooling. We have an inertia switch back in the corner there. Can be easily reached if it would ever need to be. Should never need to be touched. We have our main disconnect switch here and uh, a junction box with some electrical components and in the corner over here we have a 3.3 kilowatt charger and underneath here is a high performance electric vehicle systems AC50 and that's paired to the Curtis 1238 SE controller